Hey, this is Meredith from vidramom.com and I want to do a quick video this week on how I have my Premiere Pro workspace set up to edit GoPro videos. One of the great things about graduating to Premiere Pro from a more entry level video editing platform like iMovie or GoPro Studio or Windows Movie Maker is that it is flexible in how you can lay out your workspace. Sometimes the workspace layout is the most complicated thing in learning how to edit video. Just trying to figure out where everything is and what everything does and sometimes the timeline is over here and sometimes the media bin is over there and left, right, up, down, it can get overwhelming and confusing and with Premiere Pro, you can set up your own workspace to how you like to edit. So if you're used to having it set one way with whatever platform you were using before, you can arrange Premiere Pro however you need to. So I just wanna show you real quick how I have my Premiere Pro workspace laid out for me. And um, actually I use this same workspace whether I'm editing GoPro videos or my YouTube videos here like the one that you're watching. This is how I like to have it. And and we'll go check it out. Okay, so this is what my Premiere Pro workspace looks like. Um, this is typically how it would look no matter what type of video I'm editing, whether it's a GoPro video or what. Um, I have a very large monitor. I have a 27 inch Thunderbolt display. So it's helpful for me to make sure that my um that my whole workspace, my whole window is in the middle, in the center of my monitor. And I like to have my preview window in the center of my workspace. And typically, that's not the case for most video editing um, platforms. Usually the preview window would be, um, you know, maybe over here and you'd be having like something like this. And with such a big monitor, I just don't like that. I wanna have it in the middle. So that's what I do. Now, if you notice, all I'm doing is dragging some things around here. You can kind of think of the workspace as a window with different panes. And within each pane, you can have as many tabs as you want. So basically, I have four window panes. I have this pane over here on the left, and then I have this center pane here, and then this one over here on the right. And then I have a, a long... Um, horizontal pane on the bottom, which is where I just keep my timelines. I like to use up as much screen real estate for my timeline as possible. I like to have it as long as I can, um, be basically because I'm a very visual person. So I like to see the timeline. I like to know where I'm at in the timeline. And if I'm editing a video, I like to know how much more video I have to edit and things like that. So I like to keep my timeline in its own horizontal pane so that it's as as long as possible. And uh, real quick, you know, you can just press the minus or plus buttons as long as you have your timeline selected down here. So you know that it's selected because it's uh, got like a blue outline. If you press plus or minus, then you can kind of zoom in or out. And then just over here on the left, I have all the little tools that kind of go along with just the timeline. And then over here where it says project GoPro videos, this is kind of like the media bin um, in GoPro studio. It would be called the media bin. It's where all of your stuff is basically. So um, all of your GoPro clips and files, um, still images, background music, all that stuff, you can either drag and drop it right here um, into this project tab, or you could use the media browser and go find it on your hard drive and kind of import it that way. So this project, I don't have very many things going on over here. Um, this is just a GoPro videos project that I put together just to create these tutorials. Um, but I wanna show you one thing I like to do to organize this area is to create a new folder, or they call it a bin, um, and call it assets. And then within the assets bin, I can put um, music, and um, yeah, we'll just keep it with music for now. So I have a lot of um, royalty-free music that I've downloaded to use as background music um, in my videos. And what I like to do with my um, Premiere Pro projects is to um, actually 
import all of that stuff right into Premiere Pro so that when I go to look for music, I can, um, it's all in here already. So I just click and drag. Um, and if I've downloaded music from Audio Jungle, which is my favorite place, I usually drop in the WAV file. Um, but there's a bunch of different stuff here. We can just select it all and drag it in. And that way it's just, it's always there and you don't have to go find it on your hard drive um, every time you need to add some music to your, to your videos. And then I like to use one Premiere Pro project to edit several different videos. So for example, if you go on vacation and you have seven days worth of footage and you're gonna create five videos from that or 10 videos from that, you can do that right all within one Premiere Pro project and so by importing your music and organizing it that way, it's all right there and you can kind of use the music in whichever videos you want and um, it saves you a lot of time. So it's really helpful to be organized that way. And then you can create a new bin for every, um, let's just say like, if I'm gonna create a video here of the kids swimming, I can go and just put all of my files that have to do with that one video, um, right there in that swimming video. And then I can close up those little folders there and kind of keep things visually, you know, organized. So this left hand pane here is basically media. I have those two tabs, the media browser, and then the project or the media bin. Um, and so it's all just media happening over there. And then of course, on my center, pane here. This is where I have my preview window of the video that I'm editing. Um, also here is the source, um, the source video. So for example, if I go through, um, if you have a whole entire list of GoPro clips here and they're just named, you know, GOPR 4654.mp4, then um, you're not going to know what those videos even are of. So if you double click it, it's going to open up a source, uh, the source uh, tab here, which I have in my center tab because um, like over here is all media stuff. Over here is all like viewing stuff and previewing stuff. So I have my program uh, this is what I'm working on right now. And then there's the source um, tab. And then over here on the right is where I have all of the effects that I can apply to my video and my audio and um, all of that stuff. So this is also where I would put my... So this is also where I can find my transitions and stuff like that. So I have effect controls tab and then there's the effects tab. And the difference is that the effects tab is where you can go to find effects to add to your video. And then effects controls is where you actually control those effects. So media and then preview window and then the effects pane. Um, and then I already explained how I have my timeline down below. So if you wanna move things around, it's pretty simple once you get the hang of it. So let's say I wanted to move my effects controls over. All I have to do is drag that tab. And if you can see that purple bar there, um, I'm gonna drop it and it's gonna put that effects tab right over here into this the media pane. Um, and then I can drag the effects over as well. And sometimes it gets a little bit tricky because sometimes it thinks that you're trying to create a whole new pane. In that case, it's going to do something like this. It's instead of having a like a like down here, you can see how um, I have a purple bar. So that would just add that tab to that pane. Um, but up here, it's not a bar. It's almost like um, it's, it's, I don't even know what, it's like a trapezoid or something. So if I drop it down here, then it's going to create a whole new pane like that. So instead of having tabs over here, I could have separate panes. And then you can add a tab to a pane like that. And then you can take and move a whole pane and create it in another pane and voila, we're back to the beginning. <laughs> so um, 
there's multiple different ways that you can set things up, like I said. So I like to keep things as simple as possible. Otherwise, I get overwhelmed really easily. So I don't have a lot of tabs in my panes. I um, I just kind of stick to the simplest uh, layout here as possible. But there are other tabs that you can add to your panes or other panes that you can create depending on how much information and what you need to have in your workspace. So for example, um, you could, geez, I don't even know. So for example, you might want to have like a history uh, pane. Where did that go? It added it way down here. Um, so just like you would maybe find in Photoshop, for example, you have your history of all the different things that you've done in this project and you can put that somewhere. So, but I just never even refer to history. So I can just say, close that panel and it will go away. Premiere Pro also has some kind of pre laid out workspaces. Um, so they have like assembly, audio, color, editing, effects, libraries. I have one, I call it MySpace. This is called MySpace. So I basically rearranged everything exactly how I wanted it. And then I just came under window and then workspaces and clicked to save a new workspace. And I call it MySpace and I have it capitalized so I know which one is supposed to be mine. But you can also go and select all panels and it's going to open up like every single thing ever. And then you can have all these different panels at the top here. So I don't do this because I think maybe if I was a professional video editor, maybe I would need to have all these things, um, but I just don't. So if you need to switch back and forth between your different workspaces, that's totally fine. You can do that. You can have as many workspaces as you want. I just have the one and I like to stick to it. So this is how my Premiere Pro workspace is laid out. You don't have to do it like me at all, but since I have tutorials here for how to use Premiere Pro, you might open up your Premiere Pro and see that yours you know, it might look completely different to mine. So now you know how to arrange it yourself and you don't have to make it look like mine. You can make it look however you want, but at least you know how to, how to do it yourself. So I hope this video was helpful for you and you can open up Premiere Pro and you can arrange everything however you would want to have it. You don't have to have it exactly like mine, but when I show you some Premiere Pro tutorials, I want to make sure that you can find everything okay and you know how to arrange your workspace because yours might not look quite like mine. And if you wanna get all of my Premiere Pro tutorials for editing GoPro videos, then hop onto my email list over at vidpromom.com slash Premiere and I will shoot you an email anytime I have a brand new Premiere Pro tutorial or any tutorial for editing your GoPro videos. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Thanks, bye.